Hello guys, welcome back to a new Darkness Rises video. In this video guys, I'm gonna review the Q&A uh, related to future updates. So they answer a lot of questions, important questions. And also I'm gonna give my perspective on that. Plus uh, there is also a possible coupon. There is one, hopefully it still works, I'm gonna show you. And also we have here some on-time events related to Easter. Okay, so on April 3rd, Saturday between 10 and 22, and April 4th, Sunday, 10, 22, we get these baskets. Let's see how many. So, okay, Easter eggs 30 on Saturday on one green egg basket. And on Sunday, another Easter egg 30 and one pink egg basket. Hopefully, they, wish they will give more. <laughs> so yeah, these are the can see also the server times for different servers so yeah that's okay yeah i see a lot of people also in chat saying you know uh bring back the lucky gem box um yeah, you know we gem. definitely we definitely hear that feedback um and so we're definitely taking that into account so, so we need the lucky gems oh man really like ken kaneki which is one of my <laughs> i love that name it's from we, uh, we don't have one of my favorite animes asked if Hopefully we could ever have pet farm ways. stuff for us in the future they i think that would be super cool that. to send our pets off to they just, uh, they review they, <laughs> oh yeah that would be cool listen to this and they might all right so it. let's go ahead and get started uh with the q a session there's three different yep. sections there's pve pvp and then general questions so let's go and start with pve questions all right Okay, first one. So, guild versus guild content is super popular, and people want to know if there are any plans to improve it or update the rewards. Yeah, so um, I think there's going to, uh, you know, the, the guild content, um, our dev team is definitely looking at a lot of the different systems and the different rewards. Um, they understand that guild content is pretty important, especially for a lot of our core players. So, uh, I think um, last time we checked, it, about June is when they plan to update some of these things. Um, but there's not uh, too many details right now on what those updates are going to be. Um, but they're definitely taking a look at multiple systems, multiple content and rewards in the guild okay, um, related to the guild. Good. Um, so definitely look out for that. Okay, that's that's exciting. It seems like there's a lot. Like, So guys, new guild contents in June? Yeah, June. That's really good. And also guild, uh, like guild versus guild, also they talk about um, uh, new new other contents possible that are related to guilds uh, improving the rewards. Okay, the rewards that you get uh, from playing those contents. So that's quite nice. Good to hear. Okay. So yeah, kind of excited. Like in the pipeline. Yeah, yeah. Um, hopefully we can, you know, we're able to pull it off. <laughs> All right. Next mm. question. Come on. This one, uh, I was going to mention this in the PVP section, but this one is such a popular question. Oh, really? We're still in PVE, but I'm going to throw a PVP question at you. I'm going to throw you a curveball. So, Ooh, okay. the ultimate orb placement has been oh. super frustrating for a lot of people. Oh, really? So, yeah. higher ping players can never get to it first um are there any plans to add random orbs in the pvp modes so that kind of balance the playing field mm -hmm, mm -hmm. yeah um we've we've definitely heard this feedback a lot um and um i think it's a tricky thing um to balance at the moment so we're still looking into it um but regarding pvp in general i know our team's our development teams are trying to add new modes and experiment with different things um, regarding PVP. Uh, so for example, you know, with the For Honor collaboration, we had the, the brawl, the For Honor brawl um, that was implemented there. And so we're definitely adding new PVP modes in the future um, and trying to new different things like that. But uh, the ultimate orb placement, we don't have a, uh, any update on that at the moment. Okay, so the ultimate orb, I don't know what's the big deal with it, seriously. But maybe for the players that play a lot, the team PvP, it is so. Guys, the good news, they are working on new PvP content. And I really hope it's better than the last one, uh, the For Honor collaboration. Hope they make something uh, way, way better. That was kind of boring. So, yeah. 
a waste of time and resources. So yeah, that's a good news that working on that, on bringing new PvP content. Kind of excited about this okay. also. Okay. Yeah. All right. Thanks for that info. I'm sure people will be happy to hear hear that because it's been it's been a hot topic. And I'm excited <laughs> for those new PvP modes. Come on. All yeah. Right. Next. Okay. Yeah, please fast. So it is really really hard to keep track of all of the different gears for like the different modes. Are there plans um, to put in like a preset for like your gear, yeah, your costume, this, like your runes, pets, all of that? This we need. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh, unfortunately, we don't have anything like that currently planned. Come on. Um, but I do. We do understand that concern. Um, hmm. For me specifically, uh, I definitely have to juggle between a lot of different gears. So I'd definitely love to see something like this. But uh, we don't have any plans yet. I'm I'm like super casual right now. So <laughs> I just use this. Thing. So, <laughs> okay, the PV, the sorry, the different builds, uh, uh, like different builds, uh, possibility to save different builds for PV, PVP, and other modes, co-op, and so on, will be amazing. That will be good for to have for gear, for skills, for uh, ru uh, runes, for what's your ma magic site, for pets, for everything. That will be very useful for costumes. So I really hope, even for styles, you know, you want to have different styles on PvP, different style on PvE. So yeah, maybe in co-op mode, possibility to save different styles. That will be amazing. I really hope they will bring that. <laughs> for everything. <laughs> <laughs> but I, I definitely need to start min maxing. So, oh, <laughs> you'll get there. Don't worry. <laughs> okay. So this next question is about Guild Conquest. So Guild Con okay. Conquest has been pretty popular, but um, I even see a question in chat about this. A lot of lower level guilds can't participate. Mm. Are there any plans to adjust it so Neither. maybe lower level guilds can participate or maybe new modes? Yeah, um, again, you know, this, uh, this was another, another piece of feedback that we've heard a lot, um, especially from our Discord um, users. Um, we, uh, like I said before, we're looking at all the different guild content at the moment, um, and with the June updates, we're going to start to um, make some of these changes to the content and the rewards. For this specifically, I'm not entirely sure if it's in the plan, um, but um, it's definitely something we're looking at. Perfect, thank you. Okay, so related specifically to the guild, uh, guild, uh, guild Wars, however it's called. Okay, I'm confused a bit they they are not uh, right now they, they are not working on that but they are working on bringing in june lots of uh, guild improvements guild contents also so that's a good thing so they are a step in the good direction finally they they are doing something so yeah your answer yeah. I'm looking at my questions, and originally I had it PVE, PVP, and other, but it's all out of order now. So we are just <laughs> we're just gonna go for it, all and right. just, whatever uh, comes yeah. out, let's wing it. It's okay. the Wild West here. All right. Oh, keep auto. Let's. Uh, sorry, I just read a reading chat. Keep auto and PVP. We have lives too. <laughs> Yeah, oh, some man. like, some they <laughs> this, don't. I think we had a question about that. Yeah, this is actually perfect. That's the next question on my list. So, oh, okay. Let me read it. Um, it can be frustrating to queue into PvP and only be faced with enemies who are on autoplay. Sometimes mm. it feels like it defeats the purpose of PvP. Are there any plans for PvP modes that do not allow autoplay? Yeah, um, you know, auto and PvP is definitely something, again, we've heard. Um, I'm going to keep saying that. <laughs> we've heard a lot of this feedback multiple times. And um, it's difficult, again, one of these, this is one of those things that's difficult because we we hear both sides, right? Um, mm -hmm. Some people really like it, some people don't. Um, so what we plan to do is, you know, as we add more PvP modes, some of those PvP modes, uh, we may just limit the auto that you can use for like a certain period of time. Um, and then we'll start collecting like player data and behavior, how many people engage with it, how long, that type of stuff. And then based on that data, we'll try to see, you know, where our player base um, is really landing um, in terms of the auto, auto uh, discussion. So again, you know, we were definitely looking into it, um, but we want to collect a little bit more data with 
okay so related to ppp auto okay like i said some they like it some they don't and they said in the future yeah they will add new contents pvp contents and they are trying to limit the amount of uh, times you can use auto they cannot take it because the thing some people they don't have time to play pvp and they can use auto mode I understand the ones that they have time to play PvP and they play competitive, but they need to find a solution for both sides, no? So yeah. With future PvP modes. Okay. So in short, everyone keep giving your feedback, especially if there's a mode that you like. <laughs> um, I know that the Discord Absolutely. isn't afraid to, need to be resolved, discuss it, and and try to see you know if we can adjust it. Yeah, that's been pretty interesting for me here, kind of getting to to see how massive the machine yeah. is. You know, because when you're when you're the player, all you see is it, talk blah, blah, are blah, there blah. plans to remove stages, add new ones, adjust the rewards, or <laughs> new single player PVE mode um, that was going to be in our April update. So definitely check that out. Um, oh. it's, some of you guys have already seen in the game that we started teasing uh, this thing called the Chaos Abyss. Yes. Mm -hmm. um, that's going to be a new single player PvE mode um, that was going to be in our April update. So definitely check that out. Um, where it's, you know, we're definitely going to add more new PvE modes um, in addition to that. And there's also going to be a new boss um, that we're going to add in July. I keep seeing I, where Okay, it's, you know, so guys, related to PvE content will get that new pv mode it's single player by the way it's not multiplayer um, and also that will be in april and in june or july they said new boss new boss is coming nice Let's you see. know we're definitely gonna add more new pve modes um okay. in addition to that and there's also gonna be a new bot just... that's gonna be um to try to you know address are there plans to remove stages, add new ones, or your hands that touch it before it gets to you? Yeah, for sure, for sure. Okay, next question. All right, this is about immortal raids. So everyone, mm -hmm. uh, it's been pretty popular, but the general consensus is that it could use some improvements. Are there plans to remove stages, add new ones, adjust the rewards, or are there any plans to add like a new PvE co-op mode like immortal raids, especially for one aimed at like high CP players? Yep. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Uh, so re it, regarding Immortal Raids specifically, um, we do plan to update this content. Um, and actually, I think uh, maybe as early as May, um, in our May nice. update, we, you may, we may drop some updates for this. So um, I don't me. know specifically uh, all the different details of what that um, update is going to be. But one of the things I think the development team is thinking about is adding a new difficulty level to Immortal Raids um to try to you know address and and cater to those people with high cp um but just in terms of just overall pve modes um yeah absolutely we're always you know um thinking about new modes to add to the game um i think some of you guys have already seen in the game that we started teasing uh this thing called the chaos of this mm -hmm. mm -hmm. um that's going to be a new single player pve mode um that was going to be in our april update Right, so so we... definitely check that out. Um, where it's you know we're definitely going to add more new PVE modes um, in addition so to that. Really and there's cool. also going to be a new boss um, okay. that we're going to add in July. I keep seeing I the think, pop up uh, for that. I, it's I, it's I, yeah. the outline of it. Yeah. Yeah. So that that one, um, you know, we so we didn't know where it was going to land. Okay, because that's the one that I skip. Immortalize actually. So we'll get guys new. Immortal rides in about uh, May. Okay, May. They are working. They will work on immortal rides, new, new levels, better rewards. So yeah, that's really good. Good to hear. Okay, let's see. Very hard. Man, to but skip I think um, you know it's kind maybe of you'll you'll see I don't him know in the game around time to do all. Okay, cool. All right, we got some dates. Awesome. Okay. Mm, next yeah. thing. No yeah. No, no specific dates. Sorry, yeah, <laughs> I, don't, I don't. I don't want to throw you under <laughs> under the bus. <laughs> just uh, just a general month, you know. But we do we do try to do, keep a monthly, you know, sort of cadence with our updates. But uh, yeah, 
it's always it's always nice to know like especially like first instance if you're in like a really hard like workout or something and you know that there's only like five minutes left you're like i i, I can just push <laughs> through i can push through <laughs> Um, I see some right, people right. asking if there's going to be another code. Yes, there will be another code. So keep watching. Yeah, so I'm going to yep. give you guys more All right. codes. Uh, next question. We just received the Ancient Ruins Adventure Mode. Um, are there plans to add any more story chapters or Adventure Mode yeah, soon? Yeah, this is very important. Uh, yeah, so we just added Ancient Ruins, as you guys saw, in March. Um, and over the past you know, couple years, we've been adding new adventure stages like Laviare, Dwarven Castle. Um, and definitely this year, we do have plans to add uh, more adventure stage environments. Um, so that's always in the plans. Uh, and the story, um, this is really exciting. I think this year is also going to be, we're going to focus a little bit more on the story as mm -hmm. well. Nice. Um, we're currently planning to expand the current story and then also start planting seeds for future stories that we want to tell in this universe. Finally. Um, Again, this will probably happen sometime this year. Uh, don't have, you know, details yet on when, um, but uh, that's definitely that's definitely what we want to do. We definitely want to start focusing back on the story um, and add more to it. Okay, cool. Yeah, I'm I'm personally not not through the story yet. So, so. guys, super good news. They are working on the story, guys. So new adventure stages. This was just a new adventure they added but there are more more adve more adventure stages more challenges that's good and new story modes and continuation like just not just one time they want to continue the story this is amazing because uh, story is quite important you know you know i like stories in in games so let me know if you're excited about this <coughs> they didn't say exactly when but maybe by summer Maybe even spring now, who knows, we'll see. Also they asked about a new adventure, a new levels, but they didn't say anything yet, but I bet we'll get also new levels. So new levels will be nice if we get also um, characters, um, like all characters, uh, skill improvements, okay, real skill improvements, like, or some type of uh, upgrading the characters like ascension awakening things like that they didn't say anything about it i'm just stating what i would love to see in the future new classes why not they didn't say that like i said this is what i'm wishing for by the way they also talk about uh, lots of quality improvements and one that uh, they mentioned is definitely inventory expansion the, which they already did and i what i hope also um a way to they should stack make like polishes refined stones things like that stack on top of each other another thing that ne they need to add in there when you open different types of chests in the inventory uh, the limit is 100 give you the berries okay you, as you know you need lots of berries to get to uh, upgrade your to level up your pet so maximum you can open one time it's 100 why they don't make up to at least 1000 that will be nice so we can select max amount and then you know don't have to open 100 and another one another quality of life they didn't mention about that but i think that will be good and let me know in the comment description what other qualities of life would you like let's see if i can so some other I'm, I'm gonna try to pace myself a little bit they so talk that about uh, yeah let's see yeah. I will not hold my breath for those then. <laughs> okay, any plans to introduce a new guild raid boss? New guild raid, okay. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yeah, again, as you know, yeah, as I mentioned guild before, content. guild content is being reviewed uh, right now by our development team. They um, didn't so we say plan that they to make will, some updates to guild just content in general. I don't know specifically if guild raid boss is going to be a part of that, um, so I don't have any details about that to share. Okay. Well, how about PvE guild buffs? Can you tell me if there's going to be any new ones or mm. no? There will be no. Yeah, I think that one we we probably won't see any new guild buffs. There's constantly kind of mm. topics surrounding balance around certain classes and certain. Okay, um, we talk fights. also about. So, like, what is the philosophy there? They talk also a lot about the class balancing, and they are saying it's still a working process. They are trying to improve each classes. I know some people, they want to buff the archer back, 
buff the warrior, debuff the witch, but they are working on that. It's not that easy to balance classes, that's for sure, but they are working on that. So just so you know, guys, it's not yet done. So they are still working to make all classes as balanced as possible. Okay, so that's a good thing, no? Uh, let's see what else. Because I cannot show all the video, it, it takes too long. So yeah, I want I, also to give you the yeah, yeah. coupon code. Here, I, I see the feedback already in Twitch chat. Buff Archer. Buff Archer. Yeah. <laughs> Nerf the witch. Debuff the witch, things like that. Yeah, I know. Everybody. Had any new rage abilities? Uh, no, we don't, we don't have any plans <laughs> for that at the moment. <laughs> All right. Uh, sounds like Twitch chat uh, is saying we're ignoring them. Uh, I mean, we see the questions in chat. A lot. I don't think we have plans um, to update the rewards, but we do have plans to add more fishing events like the golden tuna one that we had. Oh okay. yeah, they will add related to fishing. They don't have plans to improve the rewards, just, uh, you know, to add new events like we had the, the one related to gold. Uh, also, what else they talked about? Um, okay, let's see. So we do, yeah, we do want to add a little bit more content and expand the fishing. Um, but I'm not entirely sure um, if we're going to be updating. Very much agree with. Sometimes yeah. I wish I could send a guild invite directly to a player. Is there any feature like that in the works? Uh, yeah, yeah. So, you know, as I mentioned um, earlier in the stream, you know, we definitely want to be a little bit more communicative with you all about upcoming content and provide you guys with more information. Um, in terms of a roadmap, um, we're currently discussing it. Uh, yeah, again, you know, our plans are constantly changing, uh, even week to week and month really? to month. So we just want to make sure we're providing you information so that doesn't get outdated. For you know, the full within year will you know, be within a week, basically. So we know so what we can get. We do. We do uh, recognize that you know a lot of players have been asking for a roadmap, so we're definitely discussing that right now. Cool. Hopefully, hopefully we can see. Please one. give us a roadmap. Any any info about PVP L accessories? Chat mm. asked. Yeah, uh, <laughs> they talk mm. about. People are already asking about PVP accessories. They do don't specify any date or anything, but for sure they will bring the uh, PVP L accessories, guys. So don't worry. Another thing that they discussed about the if the pen defense penetration actually works in PVE. And they said that yes, that should work, uh, but they are trying to review to see if it's actually working properly. So there is this thing that uh, defense penetration is not applied correctly in some PV contents. So they, they, they will review, they will check it maybe uh, to apply it properly. Maybe there are some bugs, who knows. Um, what else? They talk also about wardrobe. I think that will be released in May or June. Wardrobe, guys. Okay, that will be nice. So wardrobe uh, related to the costumes, to the styles, where we can, you know, maybe customize more the styles, different styles, and have like save different uh, styles in that wardrobe and things like that, you know, so it will be easier to manage different styles. We will see how that works. There are many things that they could do. Uh, more customization for sure will be amazing for the different costumes, different styles. So we'll see how that works, guys. Let's see if I can mm, spot them. Well, we have PVE and PVP accessories. Uh, yeah, that. Okay, June update. I will keep my eyes peeled. Yes, yes. Right. Oh, stay, yeah. stay tuned to our social networks and join our Discord. <laughs> uh, once we have more information, we'll definitely share. We're, we're autoing the boss now. Let's see if it can get better. Okay, this is making me feel better. Okay, good. The auto Ooh. just died. Okay. <laughs> Come on. I was going to say, I'm like, go ahead. All right. That, that, that's a slight ego boost. Okay, next question. Um, there are a whole bunch of quality of life improvements that people have yeah, been asking for. So I want to name some of the ones that the community has mentioned. So yep. opening more than 100 duo dungeon chests. Uh, or pet berries at a time, ah, yeah, buying more than okay. 10 items in the guild shop, or yeah, see, having an, op this. an option to like disable the animation for the pet tickets. Are there any plans yeah, for more of these quality of life for... changes? Because it takes too long. 
Yeah, um, definitely. Uh, I can't really, I can't really go into detail about those specific things or what quality of life improvements um, we're planning. Um, but again, a lot of the feedback that we get from our Discord and our Facebook and you know everywhere else that you know people are providing it, we do take the, we do um, you know take a look at that and try to incorporate as much of that as we can. Mm-hmm. Um, I think we we've done uh, we've focused on it a little bit in the past few updates in the past few months, and it's definitely a big focus for this year. You know, we definitely want to uh, improve the quality of life, add these convenience um, improvements. Um, so you're going to see a lot more of that this year, uh, for sure. Um, yeah. Okay. So that's amazing guys. More quality of life. That's amazing. There are so many, maybe I do a separate video about that. I, I did before, but maybe I'll do another one and maybe this will push them to bring them faster. <laughs> so yeah, quality of life that we always need that those, no, uh, and actually let's go. So to, to resume guys, we'll get new adventure stages, new PVE mode, new guild modes, uh, quality of life improvements, uh, what else? Definitely always new costumes, things like that. Uh, the LPVP, accessories, uh, story, amazing new story guys, very important. They are working on that, finally. Uh, there are lots of things, improving the PVP, uh, imp- class balances so there are lots of things uh, good things that are working on and i'm very happy they are starting to do more on this game no so i want to show you the second and we're gonna try it and then the first the um, code guys the coupon code because i don't want to make this video i think it's already quite long let's see if i can skip forward to that one uh, it's loading kinda. Yep, yep. Join our Discord. Yep, join Discord. Bye. Oh, wait. <laughs> Too late. Well, I. Are, yeah, okay, this uh, is April costume. Is one. And. A guild one. versus guild arena. Uh, this is the other one. No, April gold. April costume and April gold. And actually, I'm gonna go and test them, see if they work. April cost. Okay guys, so I don't find on this, uh, I don't find anymore the coupon code, the coupon codes where to enter uh, on this phone, I don't know why. Before I used to find it in the settings, that's quite weird, maybe they change it, let me know if you know where they move it. So, but let me know if those coupons are working for you, I'm gonna try on my other phone, and let me know what do you think about the announcements that they uh, they did okay so i'm kind of excited especially about new story new adventure more new adventure new pv modes pvp modes and so on guild content and so on so yeah that's very good news in my opinion so yeah guys see you soon in the next video bye